doing. I hope you are doing fine. Great. This is the eighth episode of this tutorial series on Table Press, which happens to be a nice WordPress plugin by using which you can create nice and beautiful tables on your website on any post or any page. Okay. We were discussing the table options and in the seventh um, uh, video of this tutorial series in the last part we were talking about print table name and print table description. Well, uh, I need to mention that this uh, printing table name or printing this uh, table description are not uh, is not a standard practice and that's why these two boxes are unchecked by default okay this is extra css classes additional css classes for styling purposes can be entered here this is not the place to enter custom css code okay i don't know what this means i have gone through basic html and css um, course but I do not uh, know a lot of things about CSS, so I don't need to discuss it any further. Now let's move on to the next section, which happens to be features of the data tables JavaScript library. Okay, use data tables. And uh, by default, this box is checked. And it says use the following features of the data tables javascript library with this table uh, so is the following features so i guess these features will be disabled if i disabled this one and as you can see yes my guess was correct so to enable these options i need to i i mean to be able to use these options you need to enable the very first checkbox okay the first thing is sorting Enable sorting of the table by the visitor. Okay, so how do I show you that? First of all, I need to, you know, mm, I need to put the table code somewhere, right? Okay, so no problem. Mm, I need to uh, put the table on a post or a page of mine. How do I do that? I need to copy the short code and then I will go to a page. I'm not going to a post. I'm going to a page. Oh, before I leave, I need to save changes. Did I click that twice? Oh, maybe I did. So now on to pages. I have made sure that I have copy this short code for the table we know if it is going to take a lot of time to load I may be pausing the video and then come back when the page is fully loaded okay let's you know what page should I try is it the about page okay about page is fine uh, let me Although, edit is, I am editing. Hmm, like I told you, if it's going to take a lot of time, I may be pausing the video. So, just for the information. Okay, guys, the page has loaded fully. Now, I need to insert the short code. Where do I do this? This is actually the classic editor. I do not know how to insert a short code on the classic editor. So, I like to switch it to um, to the block editor and how do I do that okay I will be back when I have the block editor here okay guys the thing is that let me see whether this classic editor currently allows me to switch to block editor huh? I'm scrolling down and I see there's no such thing to go back to block editor but i know how to uh, enable that feature so i prefer to show you that actually i am not totally focusing on table press here this is the table press tutorials will be under wordpress tutorials so whatever 
is whatever I know about WordPress, I will try to teach you that. I will give you all the guidelines, all the knowledge that I have on WordPress. So now the wizards. Oh, why am I wizards? This is not wizard. Wizard is not required. I actually need to go to plugins. God damn it. Installed plugins. That was and I need. Okay. So plugins and I, I told you whenever it will take a lot of time to load I may pause the video okay so you please do not mind this is the installed plugin space as I'm scrolling down and this is the classic editor I go to the settings and let's see what setting options I have we have not just I have As you see here, allow users to switch editors. And since this is no, that's why I cannot switch to block editor. I choose yes, and then I scroll down. No need to, I, I'm not going to get rid of this anymore because you know what? This is ice cream screen recorder. Although I hate it because it doesn't, its free version doesn't allow me to record a screen of uh, more than 10 minutes but still i'm using it for quite a long time now okay so now i hit save changes now i'm getting back where i came from i'm going to that page about page where i am going to you know uh, put the short code of the table so that i can display the table on the about page Okay, and you wait here. Okay, I'm on the about page, about editing, about page. Now I scroll down here and then I can see that I can now switch to block editor. I click this option and let's see what happens. Okay guys, forget about the, you know, about page. To demonstrate this particular thing, Enable sorting of the table by the visitor. I do not need to go to any page. It's currently enable, enabled. So let me show you what this means. Preview. So the four end of the table. I mean the preview. This table is currently loading. So why can't I? Oh, that's because I actually unchecked that box a few moments ago. Okay, let me click Save Changes. And then I will be clicking Preview. And this time I will show you. What the hell is this thing? I don't know. Okay, you just hold on a moment. <clears throat> Okay, guys, the thing is that the preview isn't working. It's somehow broken, maybe due to technical fault. So I'm about to create a new page on my site. And the na name of this page is test page. I'm on currently on the classic editor. And uh, here on the box, I just have pasted the short code for the table. And now I will save the page after saving I will be previewing the page and I will show you the preview the live preview of the table and of the newly created page uh, so wait a moment so okay guys so this is the preview live preview of the test page and let me show you actually what I'm about to demonstrate I want to show you what this particular thing means enable sorting of the table by the visitor when i am viewing this page i am actually a visitor and i can sort the items of any column um, both ascending and descending the same is applicable about applicable for this particular uh, table which is from another blog of mine i can Reorder the items alphabetically, both ascending and descending.